All right, welcome to Ecom Printables. Today we're going to be doing some Etsy keyword research hacks. So let's jump in. So we're on the Etsy marketplace right here. You can see the niches that I'm in, coloring and clip art and SVGs and so forth. Obviously we can come up here, we can type in printable and you're going to get the most popular terms that are related to printables, right? So right now you could go over to printable birthday card and just push enter there. And just to see what kind of competition that you are looking at, you're going to be looking over here at 300,000 results, right? So this gets really difficult on Etsy to start finding these niches that are untapped, right? So um, a good way to do that, we can spend a lot of time in here going and trying to find different, um, you know, niches inside of here that, for example, I guess you could go coloring and just see what's coming up right here. So coloring, and I'm going to go with a start midway through the alphabet. So coloring maps, uh, coloring mask, coloring mermaid, possibly. Let's just click that real quick. And then what's going to see we're at 5,000, right? So we've already broken this down to less than 6,000. So this is where you could come in here and start looking at some different keywords, mermaid coloring pages, coloring mermaid right there. And what you can do is you can actually come over here and let's say this one right here has reviews. Um, they're advertising for this. Um, it looks like a keyword. Where'd this keyword come from? Mermaid party decor. So this particular keyword right there, let's go and I'm going to start showing you the hack We're go because obviously we can come over and we can type in Etsy keyword software like everybody else's te everyone else teaches and we can use Marmalade right there. We can use a cell samurai. We can use uh, Etsy rank or E rank, right? There's all these different tools that we can use that have been on the market for uh, many years and they, they work well. So you, nothing against that. But I want to um, kind of do something different, open up our minds to a um, kind of a, a different way of doing it, a really powerful way. And we're going to go over here and use Ahref. So I'm going to go to um, actually right here, Keyword Explorer, because this is going to give us a lot of data right here. So I can go ahead and just uh, put that one in Mermaid Party Decor, because when you type this in on Google, there's a good chance that Etsy's going to show up. We've got Party City. We've got Amazon, Walmart. Look at this Etsy, right? So we have Etsy that is showing up, uh, ranked in the top five, showing images and so forth, right? So what we want to get is more data. Obviously, this is a buyer's keyword because it's just image rich and people are looking for designs and uh, decorations, right? Mermaid decorations. So we come back over here, we can see that this is an easy keyword to rank for on Google. And there's not a whole lot of um, backlinks and SEO um, for this particular keyword. Yes, when you type in any keyword, there's going to be um, top 10 rankings, right? And Google, but this uh, tool is going to tell us a lot more. So it gives us more keywords you could go for. Uh, even a DIY mermaid party uh, decor a kit, right? You could put kit in there, printable kit, something like that. Really get creative in here. It's telling us what our traffic potential could be, what the um, global volume and the countries that are searching for that keyword the most. <clears throat> and then we can get, like I said, more keywords related to that right here. You can actually go to view all 51 and you're going to get a list of all kinds of keywords right here. The ones that are really registering are these ones right here that actually have real traffic and so forth, right? So mermaid party decor, it gives us a lot of data. It gives us that there's 400 people on Google searching for that, right? <clears throat> but in even more particularly, right, we can actually come over here and go to the uh, site explorer and then we can put etsy.com in here and I'll show you how you can even uh, scan further and even particular for that exact keyword. So you've got 250 million visitors or more going to Etsy. We're going to go and we're going to type in, we're going to look at all the keywords, <clears throat> the millions and millions of keywords that Etsy is ranking for. It even takes time for it to pull up because it's so many keywords. So we're at almost 24 million keywords that the um, Etsy site is ranking for, but we're going to go over here to the keyword section contains phrase match. Um, it has to be contains the phrase match apply and show results. 
And then now check it out. Only four key words, right? We have a little mermaid party decor, mermaid party decor, uh, DIY mermaid party decor and mermaid party decor ideas. So we have all the search volume right here. And then we actually have what is actually ranking for. So for this particular keyword with 400 search volume, what's ranking for that keyword right here? And we're going to go and look and click on that. And this is what's showing up right here, right? So you've got 3000 results that you would be competing with. And then what we can do is we can take, that's just mermaid balloons. So Google is, is uh, ranking this kind of collection or search term mermaid balloons. It's not even, uh, you know, ranking a particular item with mermaid party decor in it. Um, we could go in here and do a control F and try to find that there's 13 people that have that keyword in here somewhere, right? So this is how you can go and narrow down. You're only com really competing against 13 products that are actually using the mermaid party decor keyword. Okay. So that's one way that we can go about uh, doing some keyword research using a very powerful tool over here. Um, use using Ahrefs. I realize that it's a paid tool and it's pretty expensive. Um, if you're paying for Marmalade or E-Rank or something like that, you're probably paying 15 to $30 a month anyways. Ahrefs minimum uh, smallest uh, plan is a hundred dollars a month just to do this kind of style of uh, research. But just want to show you the methodology that's out there. You're going to get more uh, data from a Google standpoint. Um, and if you have your other stores, like I've showed you on the site, a Shopify store or even a, a WooCommerce uh, WordPress uh, store to sell your printables, this is the way to go because you can start really hitting this out of the park and ranking with um, Etsy. You could be ranking your product with TPT and you could be ranking your own website. And so you can actually be ranking for three or more um, top spots out of the top 10 on uh, Google if you kind of do this right. So we can go back over here. We can exit out of uh, the keyword right over there. Right. So then we're back to the 24 million. Right. But let's just say what, what are we in? Uh, what niche are we in? So we'll go with keyword and we're only, remember, we're only looking at Etsy, the stuff that's ranking in Etsy. Right. So I'm going to go partial match and let's just say that you're doing um, coloring pages. I'm going to go coloring. I'm going to go printable and I'm going to go, um, let's just say we want to look for lions, lion, something like that. Right? So now I'm going to say partial match, apply, show results. So now we're looking at all of these right here that have lion coloring pages printable printable lion coloring pages, um, all these lion coloring sheets. So then you get all these different keywords. And if you created a product, let me open up a notepad real quick. Something you can do right here is um, we know that we have lion, right? And we have coloring, we have pages, we have printable. Um, let's see, we have, I wanna stay away from Lion King. Um, anything else that uh, stands out, um, maybe adults, uh, if we wanted to, um, let's see, sheet, sheets, and I guess lion guard, how many lions den, uh, Daniel's lion den, uh, mandala, that could be one too, looking at the, but the search volume is not big on those, so it's really those first few and so then now we have these right here, these keywords, and then what you can do is we can go over to another tool and the push refresh. I'm not logged in for the day at chat GPT. And I can say, give me an SEO Etsy uh, product title that includes all the following words, SEO Etsy product title, Give me an, give me a catchy SEO Etsy title with the following words. And then I'm going to put those in and I push enter. 
And then let's see what ChatGPT can come up with us for us with those key words. Roaring lion coloring pages, fun and printable sheets for your color adventure. So we have a uh, lion, we have coloring, we have pages, we have um, printable and we have sheets in there. So it literally did it. All you would need to do is whatever keyword you're going for right over here, lion, um, whatever one's getting the most. So it's lion coloring. So probably lion coloring pages printable. So you would just um, go back in and kind of rewrite that a little bit just to make sure that you include this at the beginning because you want to dominate for that keyword right there. So this is a really cool way that you can come in and do keyword research using Ahrefs, particularly looking at only Etsy and Etsy traffic, right? And look at all these green keywords over here that there's not, that you have a really good chance to maximize your ranking chance using the power and the domain authority from Etsy while creating products on the platform that actually are pretty low competition. So we click on this particularly, it's going to take us to a page right here where we can go and look at the page. We can also come back and just for fun, um, that's what's actually ranking on Google as position one, right? So if we take this term right here and highlight that right click and search on Google and what they're ranking for is how they're ranking is the image pack, right? So we could click on images. You're going to see Etsy. Etsy's going to be up here somewhere. And this also shows, goes to show you all of these different, um, all of the, these different sites that are ranking, even that Etsy's not. So here's the first Etsy one on the third row, right? And so we have, there's so much um, opportunity if you have your own website to come up here and steal these top spots, right? Etsy isn't, doesn't show up until the third row. So it also shows that, you know, Google isn't just throwing up all Etsy. They are sharing this with a lot of other places. So really cool. We can come back over here and you can look at these sites uh, that if you look at lion coloring pages printable, we can copy this, we can do a find and you're really only competing with the image pack there. And that's it. No one, no one is optimized for lion coloring pages printable. No one is optimized for this particular keyword, right? So um, pretty cool stuff right there. So hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and this training on how to do some uh, kind of laser stealth hacks with keyword research and Etsy using a tool that most people probably aren't teaching you how to use and how you can go out ranking your sites as well. So you can kind of uh, triple dip. You can make sales on TPT, Etsy, and your own website, which is kind of what I'm teaching on this channel, building a printables business. So if you liked this, hit that like button. It helps out the channel, helps out more people see the content. And then also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more great content like this. Until next time, take care.